Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 VC review. Today I'm going to take a look at Vigilante on the Topographic 16. I uh, first and foremost have to thank Sad Panda for recommending me to buy this game. Although when you realise how blurred it is, it's not his fault. There is another game out there that he was getting it confused with. Basic story is though, the skinheads have kidnapped your girlfriend Madonna and you have to get her back. So it's a side scroll and beat em up type thing, although it's nothing at all like Streets of Rage and Altered Beast, you can't move up and down or anything, you just, up and down's actually your duck and all that, and you just have to kill the enemies, you've got a time limit there on the top right, you've got a live limit as well, uh, and you've got an energy limit, which it, unfortunately for some unknown reason, when the bad guys don't punch you, doesn't hurt, however, like, because the, rather than punching you, they grab hold of you like that, and grabbing hold of you just drains your energy. And you have to break three of all them, and breaking three apparently is so much of a shock it kills them. Um, you've then got every now and then these nunchuck out to collect, which are the only weapon on the game, and pretty much the only useful thing on the game. So you want to be uh, trying to collect them, because they're a hell of a lot better than your punches and kicks, even your fly kicks and the likes. The enemies are constantly coming at you from left to right all the time, which can get really irritating, because every time you, fight, you you kill an enemy on the right there's one there on the left so you end up standing still for 10 seconds at times uh, at the end of every level though you get a boss so if you notice in the uh, very top of the screen there's a pink bar which is my energy and there's the uh, green bar which is the boss's energy the boss of this level this is the boss here um, th not him but this guy here with a beard so I'll try and take care of him this is uh, a bit stupid because the boss who's always stronger than the normal enemies when he grabs hold of you, it doesn't hurt. Whereas the weaklings, they grab hold of you, it kills you. Instead, with him, it's punches. So, odd, very odd. Uh, there's five levels of this. I can't really recommend it to anyone at all. It's uh, not exactly the best game. I'll shut up a few seconds like you have a listen to the music, which is constantly going along about every ten seconds it loops a bit. So there we go then, that's been the review, I hope you found it helpful. I don't score the games because that's based purely on opinion, so instead I'll leave you to make your own mind up. So thanks for watching and if you've got any questions about the game that I didn't answer in the vid or that hasn't been answered in the comments then feel free to ask and I'll help if I can. Also if you did find it helpful don't forget to check out my channel because there's plenty more like this up there and don't forget to subscribe because there'll be plenty more to come as well. So until next time this has been Demon212. Signing off.